you do not want to be told what to do. Government should have to follow the rules. People should be able to keep their earnings. If you like the above statements, you are on the right website. My objective, with the diligence of dancing, in the rain or this little light of mine we the people can save this once great nation. What you believe does not matter to them. They just want you to believe in something, be a part of the consensus reality, be in a state of willful blindness, occupying your time with sports, movies, drugs, etc. In fact after 9-11 George W. Bush told us go shopping. Not exactly a call to duty. Anyway, they want you trapped in your little world and not interfering with their affairs. Trapped in your little world you ask? Yes, they have been educating the population to be small-minded, President Obama's words, since the mid-1800s. The philosophy of our the United States government, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator, with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The purpose of the United States government, to secure these rights, the only way that the Constitution, the rule of law has teeth, is if we the people give it teeth. Thomas Jefferson said, ignorance and freedom cannot coexist. How can you defend freedom, if you don't know what it is, and how can you defend the Constitution, if you don't know what it is? That's the battle that's being fought here, ignorance. We have been duped. Do you know what the problems are? Yes, they have us duped, hoodwinked, bamboozled, whatever you want to call it. What they are selling just is not so. We are their slaves. And they do it in your name. You don't believe it? Why would you? You listen to the mainstream media. Not the news. TV and radio news has no content, only what you should think. You are only getting what they want you to hear and see. There is so much more to know. Fox News, CNN, NBC, The Blaze, etc. They are all the same propaganda. They change a few words around to fool you, but it is the same propaganda. And then the most obvious lunacy you are trapped in is they have us divided with their constant left-slash-right propaganda. And we discuss it too. The left-slash-right propaganda has become some folks' religion replacing the God-based religions of the world which they have deemed as phony. But the final outcome so far is we have been duped. Okay, we have been duped. What can we do? We can just say no. To law not under Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution. We the people can change our government directly. The procedure is called Article V, Convention, of the States. It has been there all along, just never used until now. Or, we could move into a different type of social-slash-economic system. Say, Peter Joseph's zeitgeist system or contributionism. It would not be capitalism. Anything without money may be a good choice. Except, how do we change over? Or just quit cooperating with them? No violence needed. But also realize that silence is consent. And quoting Martin Luther King. The limitation of riots, moral questions aside, is that they cannot win and their participants know it. Hence, rioting is not revolutionary, but reactionary because it invites defeat. It involves an emotional catharsis but it must be followed by a sense of futility. You should know what the real issues are. Personal responsibility, do you want to be told what to do? Government should have to follow the rules. People should be able to keep their earnings.